Go away. How did you do that? Royds. You the one who put my sister in a fish tank? Get out of here. Your sister, huh? I can't believe I didn't spot it in the bar last night. I'm uh, something of an expert in marine life. You know why I'm here. Where is it? Feisty, too. I'll ask you one more time. Where is it? Oh, you must be talking about the tiara. Well, I found it one day when I was diving. You could say it's what brought me and Venus together. Now, I know each of you gets one of these magic doodads at birth, so where's yours? Because I'm thinking the two of you would look real sweet in a tank together. Get a little sister action going. You want my birthright? I do. yourself. Where's the birthday? It's gone. I destroyed it. It's in the hole, girl lamp. What's this? Put it down. This doesn't belong to Venus. Take the tiara, but not the shell. Please leave the shell. You're lucky I'm leaving you with your life. Better be good. Oh, it's better than good. It's front page material. No room. We got our story for tomorrow. Well, we'll see. What do you know about the merfolk? You mean that uh, nudist camp out on Wawachi Island? I'm talking mermaids, half fish, half human. I've got one, a real one. Yeah, and I got a chicken with two heads. <laughs> front page now. <laughs> you. <laughs> you won my freedom, my right to choose. Without it, I, I was a slave, a suffragette, a, a maid with no myrrh. With freedom comes responsibility. You need to wear that tiara at all times. You've got to be kidding. It's a tiara. It denotes royalty. It denotes dork. When June was born, Daddy gave her a mirror, something every girl needs. You got a superhero action comb. And I get stuck with an oyster headdress. It's so unfair. Don't leave it lying around on the ocean floor again, OK? Look what else your boss had. A listening ear? That'd be my guess. Any idea who it belongs to? <sighs> that slime ball. Can you wait here for me? We need to get going. I won't be long. What do you want? I'm leaving. You won't see me again. Good. I have something to give you before I go. Take it. Please. Just take it.
such a beautiful car. Can you hear it? All the time. How'd you know? You're too smart to be with him. Earl's had me under his control for so long, I... I forgot who I was. Oh, you are as cool. This green hair is working for you. Very 80s. What are you waiting for? You're free. Go jump in the sea. Don't look back. I can't keep this. I don't understand. I have a home here, a daughter. I can't go back, and I don't want to. Life as a mermaid, it was lonely. I remember that. What about Earl? He's out the door, believe me. <laughs> Tess and I will find a way to make it on our own. But only if you keep this safe. Understand. Maybe one day you will, if you're very, very lucky. If you want to say goodbye to the best thing that ever happened to you, you better hurry. I got nothing to say to you. I'm not talking about me. For the coffee. And by the way, Kiss my tiara. Excuse me. Have you seen a girl? Tall, pretty, fierce look in her eye? Well, yeah. Seems I'm the one whose truck she stole. Borrowed. I think borrowed is the key word here. So what's the word for having totaled it? She's sorry? She will be. Your crazy friend is in jail. there who shot my father and I'll be lucky if he's fined for legal fishing and I'm in jail for crashing a car it was just a car yeah just wasn't your car ma'am no sharp objects in the cell what's this made of it's heavy put it down Find out in about an hour. What's in an hour? No time. So where are we going? My favorite restaurant. Oh, I can't wait to see what that is. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> you know, I read about this place in Zagat's. They serve an amazing prosciutto wrapped monkfish with a cumin coriander crust. Thanks for coming here. I haven't been to Harry's in years. I wanted to pay a visit before they turn it into another Starbucks. Thanks. Please. I love places like this. It's not really Cynthia's style. She's, uh, she's got a lot of that, you know. Style. So, why is this your favorite restaurant? I used to come here when I was a kid, me and my dad, every Friday night. It was a ritual, you know. I miss it. Yeah, my dad and I used to go out for seafood, um, but he used the time to tell me how disappointed he was with me. And what did he want from you? To be more like him. Strong, independent, not needing anyone. And do you need someone? Well, we all need someone. You know, I used to travel a lot to places most people only dream of. And then one day I had to stop because all the beauty in the universe means nothing without a partner to share your discoveries with. Sorry, I'm not usually like this. Why not? <laughs> 